Let us now join the Decepticons at the site of their shuttle landing. Hiding the shuttle deep in a cave. That sounds like my sound wave. Excellent judgment. Don't be treating my subordinates as if they were yours, Galvatron. I believe that you are a fellow Decepticon, so I invited you here. But remember that that does not mean I believe all your coming from the future stories. Brother, don't say that. I am you. Your future self. Surely you feel it. The same black oil flows in both our metal veins. What's this? Is this true, Megatron, sir? Yes. I am certain. I feel it. The same electronic pulse connects us. Well then, how goes the future me? Still fighting those Autobots? Hmm. A little white lie or two won't hurt. Don't want him losing respect for me. Obviously, we now rule the universe, thanks to me. Really? Is that true? Of course it's true. We bask at last in the glory that is ours. Wonderful! Please, tell me more. Tell me the details. I shall, I shall. But we don't have the time for that now. A temporary threat to our glorious rule has emerged. It is to stop this threat that they have returned to this era. What? Listen to me, brother. That is a conversation for the future. Meanwhile, back on the Autobot shuttle. What? The Decepticon Military Operations Commander Shockwave turns traitor? That's right, Optimus Prime. I don't believe it. Megatron's faithful henchman. There was a reason. That Galvatron you fought with earlier is really Megatron. Restored and made more powerful after undergoing damage in a battle. But when he became Galvatron, he took a turn for the worse. He became more violent and began to lash out indiscriminately at anyone near him. Even within the Decepticon ranks, he started losing his authority. Shockwave observed the new Galvatron and came to a conclusion. He is not fit to lead the Decepticons. I myself would make a better military leader. But a one-robot mutiny? How? Even with his authority weakened, Galvatron couldn't be this large from the talk of Megatron's organization. Yes, but he had something that changed the odds. Zell Quartz. Zell Quartz? What's that? Well, it is nothing less than the greatest threat to the Transformers of the future. Rodimus Prime told Optimus the whole story from the beginning. A story that goes something like this. Zell Quartz was an energy mineral that Shockwave discovered. If the quartz is set into the body of a being born on Cybertron, for example a Transformer, that being will experience a prodigious increase in power and strength. So, blessed with an inexhaustible supply of energy and destructive power, Shockwave made himself leader of the Decepticons. 
but he could not bear the extra power loads. His circuitry malfunctioned and he began to run amok. Of course, both the Decepticons and the Autobots tried to stop him. But fueled by the near infinite power resources of the Zell Quartz, Shockwave was unstoppable. Both sides suffered massive losses. Eventually, the planet Cybertron itself was destroyed. Rodimus Prime knew that Shockwave would not stop until the Earth and all the other planets were bathed in fire. Rodimus sought help from the Quintessens, who were also under threat. They provided technology that would enable Transformers to travel back in time through a time slip, where they planned to stop Shockwave from ever unearthing the Zell Quartz. So the elite of the survivors boarded a shuttle and we threw ourselves into the time slip. But the Decepticons discovered our plans. They secretly followed us to steal the quartz for themselves and forced their way through the time slip after us. A destabilization in space energy occurred as a result. There was an explosion when we emerged from the time slip and our group was scattered. And when our shuttle crash landed, we lost all interplanetary communications. We haven't been able to contact our comrades. So, that explains everything that has happened here. I don't think it is wise to travel through time and meddle with history. But as Transformers, we have an obligation to stop Shockwave from menacing innocent planets. Commander, if that Zell Quartz is on this planet, We've got to find it fast and destroy it before the bad guys get to it. Agreed. So, where is the quartz? Well... You don't know? I'm afraid not, my brother. In the future, it is known as Zell Quartz. But in this era, who knows what it's called? But this Autobot Doomsday Weapon material, are you sure it is here on this planet? Quite sure. And this Doomsday Weapon will be used against us Decepticons? Well, we must help you. We have to get the Zell Quartz. Before they do. Thank you, Megatron. Truly, you and I are one. And I think I'll keep quiet about Shockwave and the power of the Cell Quartz. Otherwise, it'll be harder to grab the Quartz for myself when the time comes. But. Swallowing such obvious lies. Was I such a dumb fool? Galvatron will probably contact Megatron and persuade him somehow to join the search for the Quartz. If we don't get to that Quartz first. Right, Wheeljack. Explain the situation to the Paradius United Government and ask for their cooperation. Then, search every database on the planet for information about anything that might be the Zell Quartz. I've already been looking, Commander. That's our wheeljack. Did you find anything? Well, for now I have located... three possible candidates for the Zell Quartz. Good. We don't have any time to spare. We will leave directly to search for the Quartz. Now that's a real commander. Decisive. Confident. What is it, Rodimus? Oh. Do you mind me calling you that? 
No, Commander. I might be the leader in the future, but for now, just call me Rodimus. Very well, then. Okay. It's time to roll out. Get ready, everyone. Yes, yes sir. sir. 